what's up guys and welcome back to another video my name is Michael today I'm gonna show you how to turn any mobile picture taken by any mobile phone that look kind of like this and turn them into a pro digital SLR quality like this so if you want to learn how to do that don't go anywhere and stay tuned All right guys, and we are back. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I would like to welcome you. Here at this channel, what we do is review action figures, collectible toys, we review gadgets, electronics, and from time to time we do photography and video tutorials like today. So if you like the content I'm producing, you're welcome to subscribe. If you would like to be notified of my new upcoming videos, make sure you hit that notification bell. And if I can ask you for a big favor, if you can, hit that like button it actually helps with the youtube algorithm so if you can do that for me i really appreciate it so without further ado let's go ahead and get to today's video so as you saw early in the video i took a picture with the iphone pro 12 and i also took a picture with the canon eos r here for this example it doesn't matter what mobile phone you have and it doesn't matter what digital slr or mirrorless camera you have the the point that i'm trying to make here is that even if you don't have, let's say, a budget to buy a digital SLR camera or more expensive camera, you can still make your simple or mobile phone pictures look pro professional. So if you're interested and would like to learn how to do that, I'm going to go ahead and take you behind the scenes to Photoshop and we'll go from there. All right, I take it back. I forgot to show you this image really quick. I wanted to show you the iPhone 12 picture, which is on the left. And on the right, I have the uh, digital SLR or mirrorless camera that was taken with the Canon EOS R. For the prop here, I'm using the uh, Mandalorian by Hasbro. Uh, you can use any prop. I'm using this uh, action figure because this is what we do here at this channel. So a couple things that I want to point out. I'm using the same settings. Not, not exactly the same settings because the iPhone is, is a little bit limited. I did download an app. Um, the iPhone to be able to adjust all my manual settings because the regular app on the iPhone won't allow you to do manual settings. So, so basically the settings are the same. Even though the white balance looks off, it's the same white balance. The f stops a little bit different, uh, but I try to get as similar to the iPhone uh, 12 Pro uh, in the rest of the settings. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and turn my basic iPhone picture into a digital professional picture. Here we go.
All right, guys, and we are back. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the before and after pictures. Let's go ahead and compare them. All right, so as you can see, on my left, I have the iPhone Pro 12, and on my right, I have the iPhone Pro 12 Plus Edit in Photoshop. So what are you guys saying? Not bad at all. Maybe about, what, 20 minutes to have this edit done, which is worth it if you're looking for that amazing quality picture. Just got to spend a little bit of time, but the results are amazing. And really quick, I want to go ahead and show you now the iPhone Pro 12 edit version with the uh, Canon EOS R. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. Alright guys, so we have reached the end of this video. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for your support. If this video was helpful, let me know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Make sure to activate that notification bell so that way you don't miss any of my new videos. And if you can do me that small, tiny little favor, if you can hit that like button, it helps a lot with the YouTube algorithm. So thank you again, guys, and I will see you next week. Take care, guys. Bye.